That's the royal ensign of this country, as chosen by our ancestors on the 28th of October, 1835, when Māori, not out of a case of having to, but on their own abolition... It's sort of out of a case of having to. No, 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 no. Come, 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 my friend, come, my friend. <laughs> I'm telling the story. <laughs> um, um, not out of a case of having to, yeah. out of their own abolition on the 28th of October, 1835, declared their sovereignty to an international arena, to France, America and England. Right. Those three countries were the three major powers that were operating throughout the Pacific and at that time in history they were extending their colonies or extending their empires. They needed access to a whole bunch of resources that would sustain the colonies that they had established mm. in their islands. They didn't have any place but the biggest island in the South Pacific which happened to be these islands here. And in 1835 on the 28th of October to a 21 gun salute from three warships, one from England, France and America, our people were recognised as a sovereign independent state internationally. That would give rise to what would take place five years later known as Te Triti o Waitangi. The celebration of Waitangi is about celebrating Waitangi. Mm. It's about memorialising the event that took place on the 6th of February. You know, memorialising what was in the hearts of not only our ancestors but yours too. Mm. On the so 6th so of February, are my you know? ancestors, who, who represents them? Oh, well. well. Your knows? government, I suppose. Yeah, the Queen. The your queen. government. The government, your government as well. Yeah, government. Because your we don't believe, well. we don't believe that it's my own government. Yeah, you, that's see? Right. you see, yeah. our government, we believe that your government's supposed to be looking after your own selves. Right. Our government is our, we want to be our own government. We want to govern ourselves. And we still want to believe that, no, that doesn't belong to us. Parliament doesn't belong to us. Some of us won't even go on a roll. Some of us won't even vote. Mike, the 6th of February was about two leadership authorities coming together one being the owner of everything, Māori, and Māori, that, gov that governing authority, choosing out of three potential partners who they would take as a partner. We chose the English. What my mātou is saying, and that Māori want to be able to have the right to govern themselves, in fact, we don't even want that right, because as far as we're concerned, we've always we had that right. We've always had that right, yeah. It's what we're trying to yeah. do is just to get the other partner to acknowledge that right. Hmm. Well, see, there's your problem. Yes, isn't it? That's the problem. They have not honoured the treaty. No. Nobody has honoured the treaty. That the Partnership under the treaty might mean parallel governments for Kingi and Hone. And that's why we still hold fast the treaty. With but there's many the forms of river. partnership, and yeah, I'm hoping to find out what they can be for me and for Napu. Yeah. I think that we have honoured Te Treaty of Waitangi in that, in as much that you and I are standing right here on Tau Rangatira. Mm. We're talking, laughing, <laughs> having fun. <laughs> Yes. Getting and, on, and, and getting couple on. of getting Kiwi on. blokes. And couple getting on. Of, well, I don't know. Can, can, we, can we bring that back around here? <laughs> He's a Kiwi. I'm Tangata Whenua. <laughs> Hone's right. We signed a document as two peoples, but is there a hint of smug superiority of us and them in this claim? I claim the lawyers leave me a fifth generation Kiwi as a guest in the only land that I can call home.